guys, I'm back with a makeup tutorial this time. Other than my vlogs and my other videos, I'm gonna be creating a makeup look for you. So I hope you guys will love it. So just stay tuned and watch the video. So this is my face with absolutely no makeup on it. I have already moisturized my skin and we're gonna get started on the eyes first. So before we get started on the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and put our primer, this is Maybelline's primer. This one is gonna visually blur out any imperfections that you have and it's gonna um, just smooth out your skin. It's gonna make it look really nice. We will put this first before we do our eyes just so we let the primer sit and sink into the skin and then it's nice and ready when we apply that makeup on there. Go ahead and put a little bit of it. Put a little bit like this on my hand. You could do it with the brush or you can just do it with your fingers, warm up the product. And I like to start here in the center, here, here, and then I just work the product out. So we're gonna get started with our brows. This is my go-to eyebrow pencil. It's by L'Oreal. Um, it is called Brow Stylist Designer. So it is the pencil and it comes with the little brush like this to brush, you know, the eyebrow hairs. So this is my favorite product that I am currently using right now. So we're gonna do the eyebrows really, really, really fast, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean my eyebrows up so they're nice and defined. So to clean up your brows, you're gonna use a nice concealer brush like this one. Um, and then my favorite go-to concealers or products um, right now are Cinema Secrets. This is an amazing product. I started using these when I was at Makeup First School. That's how I got introduced to the products and they work great. They are so nice and smooth on my skin and these are nice and creamy because um, I don't know if you saw my last video how I told you I suffer from eczema and mostly on my eyes it gets super super dry so I need something that's nice rich and creamy that isn't gonna dry out my eyes so this product is definitely great just gonna grab a little bit really 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 small you use your brush and I'm gonna look at the mirror right here okay And those are the brows. So I'm gonna start off by using the actual foundation that I use all over my face. I'm gonna apply it to the top of my eyes. This is nice and creamy and rich, so it's gonna cover up the redness or the purple that I have in my eye. So we're gonna grab a Real Technique brush. So I'm gonna actually pat the product into my eye so it just sinks in. You see how we start to get a little bit more coverage than this one? So this is actually going to work great as a base for the shadows. It's just going to help for the actual shadows to show even more. They're going to look more pigmented and they're going to stay out a lot longer. And next we're just going to set the actual foundation just to prevent any creasing. Put a little bit of that all over translucent powder or whatever powder you use. So next we're gonna do our shadows and I'm gonna be using this palette right here. It's the 28 Neutral Palette by Coastal Scents. So I'm gonna use this on my crease. And blend, blend, blend my friends. Blending is your best friend. Now we're going to take this color right here. 
and we're gonna blend it with that color that we have but you're gonna focus it more on the outer corner not bring it in all the way the other eye so we're gonna go and continue with the lighter color on the lid When you pat the actual product, you prevent fallout. Instead of going like this, you make you gotta make sure you pat the product in. And then just blend in. Next, we're gonna apply our eyeliner. If you like to use gel or liquid, you can use either one, but this is my favorite one right now. It's Tartise by Tarte. It is the best gel liner ever. Ever, 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 ever. Don't judge me if my line is way too long. And then next, we're going to apply our lashes. I really love these lashes. They're um, Kiss Lashes. They are in the number 01. I just love the look of them. They're nice and full and long, but they're not too exaggerated. They look really beautiful on. And next we're going to add a little bit of shadow underneath. I tend to not use eyeliner on the bottom um, just because I feel that sometimes it actually makes my eye look a little bit smaller. But if you want that smokiness effect, you are going to take the 212 MAC brush. This is awesome. It has a flat surface, so it's nice for you to apply the shadow on the bottom. I tend to use um, that brownish color right here that I used lastly and then we're just gonna apply a little bit and then this is the reason why that I like to do my eyes first because that shadow is going to create some fallout so if I would have done my foundation first I would have gone back to clean up the mess and then reapply my shadow so this is why I do my eyes first so once I finish the bottom now I'm gonna apply mascara to my bottom lashes So now we're going to put on our foundation. Like I said, my favorite foundation is the Locket Foundation by Kat Von D. Let me start putting on my foundation. And then this is the foundation. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Next, we're going to put our all over powder to set the foundation in so it lasts. And then we're going to do a little bit of contour. And my favorite go-to product that I love to use. It is my Kat Von D contour kit. It's a little bit messy, I'm sorry, but I love this. I've used it a lot, as you can see. So I like to take one of the Real Technique brushes and then I use this darker shade, not a lot, but I just wanna focus right here on the contour. 
And the contour should always be right underneath that cheekbone area. And it should go all the way here. You never want it to surpass this part because then it starts looking terrible. So you're going to take it right underneath here. And you can do this. I like to use it. Because see how it kind of creates that shadow and it's almost like you, it's like a guy that you can follow. So I do this. And I use this and I grab it and I flatten it out like this and I use for my nose. And then we're going to go with my favorite bronzer ever by Becca Cosmetics. It is... This bad boy right here. I've used it a lot already, so sorry for the messiness and sorry for this chaos right here in the back. So we're gonna use our Becca Cosmetics product and our other Real Technique brush. And then we're gonna just follow that contour. And it's gonna give a really nice bronziness to it, like that J-Lo glow that everybody loves and that I love J-Lo. J-Lo is it for me. Now we're gonna put it all over here so it blends in nicely, gives you that nice glow all over. And then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of blush. We're gonna put a little bit of that right here. And I'm using the brush that has the bronzer in it just so it blends it more nicely. So it gives that rosiness, bronziness to it. So prior to any application of the lipstick or lip liner, I just like to set the lips with a little bit of powder. So we're going to go in with Chestnut by Wet n Wild. And you can judge me if I overdraw my lips. Hey, I don't care. It's my makeup, and if I'm happy with it, then who cares? And same goes for you. If you want to overdraw your lips, hey, go right ahead and do it. Everybody wants to give credit to Kylie Jenner for overlining her lips and doing the new lip look. But cholas have been lining their lips for years now and nobody ever gave them credit. So I'm giving them credit right now. Mm-hmm. Cholas are the ones who came up with that Kylie lip that everybody calls. It's that chola lip. And then we're going to go in with Brezzy by Lipland Cosmetics, the Amrezi collection. So this is the final look. Um, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a long time, so bear with me if it's not the best quality. I'm still trying to figure everything out with the setup, but um, I hope you guys love it and try it for holidays. And right now, I will be showing you next my behind the scenes of Justin Bieber Q&A concert. Oh my gosh, I secretly am a um, Justin Bieber fan. So you'll be seeing a little bit of footage right after of the concert that me and my sister went on, concert Q&A. He sings just as beautiful um, with just a guitar. He doesn't need like a whole setup or everything. So hopefully you guys, you know, uh, love it. Other than that, bye. Finish out with jamming. We're running to go see JV and we're late. <laughs>